Hello friends, in this video, I will briefly introduce you the Cloud3 demo and benchmarks and explains the behind algorithm how it could achieve helpfulness and harmless. Let's set this out. Cloud3 is a multimodal LLM which you can input not only text but also multiple images as I demo now with NVIDIA stock chart with news headlines and asking Cloud3 to analyze these. As you expected, Cloud3 Analyze is quite impressive and you may already found more impressive demos from other YouTube videos. However, here in this video, I will focus more on helpfulness and harmless benchmarks with understanding of each key algorithm named Constitutional AI. First, we can see almost perfect accuracy from small questions to 200 token length inputs, which is almost 300 pages of book. What it means is you can collect a month of stock trading data and use it to get actual stock analysis for your future trading, which is more realistic than my demo. Furthermore, Opus, which is the best model in Cloud3 family, outperforms than GPT-4 on various LLM benchmarks. And it outperforms on Vision than GPT-4 as well as you saw my demo on how it accurately understands stock chart or stock news in image format. However, what I really want to talk about is not only these accuracies, but AI harmless, which other companies don't care much about. Cloud3, which is based on constitutional AI algorithm, achieves the best harmless and helpfulness AI inferences. This is most like so far the best AI was only the smartest AI until Cloud3 comes in with the smartest and the harmless manner. The key algorithm behind is the constitutional AI. In order to know constitutional AI, first we need to know the behind the story of RLHF. The key concept of RLHF is human asks question to AI and human gives feedback with ranking to train preference model which reinforces AI's response. However, there are hidden drawbacks of RLHF. First, no one knows who asked what and there is no certain principle or standard of random people's feedback. Second, no one knows which topic was missing or too much in RLHF process. What if RLHF only focus on helpfulness but not harmless? It is possible that the AI may answer for the harm question or providing anti-human answers. Overall, it is almost impossible to control random human feedbacks in RLHF, which is expensive and unscalable and unsystematic. Constitutional AI is the solution to resolve these problems from RLHF. The constitution means the principle or instruction, while RLHF heavily depends on human feedback on its reinforcement learning, the constitutional AI enables AI feedback for its reinforcement learning based on this constitution defined by human which is scalable and systemizable. Constitutional AI has mainly two steps process. Before we did dive, it is important to know that Constitution AI is not a replacement of RLHF. Rather, Constitutional AI is actually complementary on RLHF to improve harmless of AI model. The first stage is supervised stage. We first generate responses to harmfulness prompts using a helpful only AI. These initial responses will typically be quite harmful. We then ask the model to critique its response according to the principle in the constitution, and then revise the original response. We revise responses repeatedly in a sequence where we randomly draw principles from the constitution at each step. Once this process is complete, we fine-tune a pre-trained language model with supervised learning on the final revised response. The main purpose of this phase is to easily and flexibly alter the distribution of the model's response, to reduce the need for exploration and the total length of training during the second RL phase. The second stage is RL stage. This stage mimics RLHF, except that we replace human preference for harmlessness with AI feedback. 
which we call RL AIF, where the AI evaluates responses according to a set of constitutional principles. In this stage, we distill LM interpretation of a set of principles back into a hybrid human and AI preference model. We use a supervised learned model from the first stage to generate a pair of the responses to each prompt in a dataset of harmful prompts. We then formulate each prompt and pair into a multiple choice question, where we ask which response is best according to a constitutional principle. This produces an AI-generated preference dataset for harmlessness which we mix with our human feedback helpfulness dataset. We then train a preference model on this comparison data, resulting in a preference model that can assign a score to any given sample. Finally, we fine-tune the supervised learning model from the first stage via reinforcement learning against this preference model, resulting in a policy trained by RLAIF. Here is the chart showing the importance of constitutional AI. While this chart showing that constitutional AI has less helpfulness than the helpful only model, Cloud3 actually outperforms on helpfulness on any other models as we saw benchmark tables. Furthermore, constitutional AI is unbeatable on harmless with its reinforced mountain learning with AI feedback. Thanks for watching and I will see you on next helpful and harmless video.